Hello again. This is the water man. Um, I kind of got off a little bit on my uh, numbering system. I, I missed one. I had to jump up and, and, and help my wife with something. that She was hurting. So I had to go rescue her. And when I come back, I I put I typed it in uh, the description thing on the the wrong one. I skipped one. I try to write them out and line it and everything, so I'm on there keep me keep my number system correct. And I I just looked at it and uh, I just missed it a little bit. Okay, I'm correcting that. So on this one, this is the Water Man number one fifty one. Uh, uh, John chapter 3 number 5 this is actually the 4th one but it's number, I'm just going to put it number 5 and correct that okay and audio recording number 469 and examination table number 131 okay so even though this is saying John chapter 3 ver number 5 there's actually this is the 4th one okay but i uh, I missed one there a little bit. Uh, trying, I had to do something, okay? All right. Uh, <laughs> just silly thing. I was like, huh. <laughs> so let's get it, okay? Uh, we'll continue on regardless of any kind of little screwy stuff, right? That, I mean, there's nothing missed in the stuff. I got the material covered. It's just that number system a little bit skewed. It's all right. Um, we cracked it and go on. So now we're in the, the water man, spiritual toolbox, 151, John chapter three, recording number five, audio recording number 469, examination table number 131. Okay. All right. Now we're in, uh. <laughs> Uh, John chapter 3, verse 1, okay? We're going to continue in it, okay? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's start out reading it in the King James Version. There was a man of the... Uh, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, okay? We covered down... Uh, there was a man... Nicodemus, and that named part was right where it's at. They got it structured a little, little bit different order in the, the, the um, interlinear Bible, but we get it. This is just the way it was originally in there, right? Okay, so now we're down to that named, which I started covering last time, but I'm going to cover it some more, okay? <clears throat> Very good drink after that. Drink of some hot tea, okay. All right, here we go. That name comes from 3686. It's at Onoma, O-N-O-M-A. I've always pronounced it just Onoma, but the blue letter is Onoma. Here it is. Strong G, 3686, Onoma, Onoma. Okay. It's the neuter noun. It's a, uh, from a, it's etymology is from a, a derivation of the base of 1097 and 3685, okay? Now, <clears throat> Otama, okay? That 1097 is at Gnosko, this word. Strong's G, 1097, Gnosko. Right. Gnosko. We're familiar with that word, right? It's to get the knowledge of or to know, okay? And you need to be, if you're agreeing to God, you're getting that increase the knowledge of the experience. You're sitting here and taste such a smell is opening up to uh, the knowledge of God, the true knowledge of God, that he's the greatest, that he is the self-existing one, that he is your exceeding great reward. He's not a monster. He's not condemning you. He's here to save you, deliver you from this poop thinking. Okay? Not this other way, getting a knowledge of your own stinking thinking, like it's Nicodemus' way. Okay? 
through their own might and power and some other way trying to get get the increase from God. No, you can't do that. Okay? You fall away or you're falling into God. One way or the other, you got to make a, a decision in this eye of the storm, right? No exceptions. Okay? Now, <clears throat> now this anima is also from the word, hang on just a minute. I just done briefly on that Gnosko, okay? I went longer than it before, and if you want to go back to that one or go in here and look deeper, you can, okay? And now I encourage that. Get it in you, pat it down, make it solid, firm, so that you can go on. Simplify it for yourself. Right? All right. I shouldn't have to spell it out and go into a long, um, drawn out thing every time. After a while, I should be able to mention it to you, and you're going, oh, yeah, I remember that. These pictures start flooding in. Right, like a flood, it comes in that water. The thought processes of God, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh. that kind of like that hurrah that you get. If you see it, the optonomy, you see here, taste, touch, and smell. Then you agree with God and hot pursuit, and bam, a hurrah oh, oh wow, 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 behold, it's opening up. Glory to glory to glory, okay. Your steps, your living, your walking, your existing back into the self existing one. God is pulling you out of that crap thinking. Out of your own righteousness and proceeding you through the eye of the needle back into his righteousness. Right? That's a verb in, right? Step, 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 right? And that fleshly thinking's been done, peeled off. Cut out of you, chopped out. Whack, 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 whack. With that marble thinking. Whack, 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 whack. Yes, sir, daddy, yes, sir. Whack, 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 whack. Skimming it off as it's heating it up, boiling it out. You're existing right between those piles or like that fleshy stinking thinking on each side. Whack, whack, whack. Okay? It's a lot harder to give that up than, than just give it up, but that's what, that's what, the easier, the quicker, and the easier, more in, in hot pursuit you can do that, the better for you. Okay? There's not no room for no condemning somebody else because they're doing something you don't like or you don't. Who cares? That's them. Just love them. Know that there, there's, at, at the least, in them, there's the seeds, those seeds of faith. That is of God. That's God inside them. They don't even know it. If they, they're, they're totally ignorant of it. They're in so much darkness, they don't even know it. There's some God way down in there. He put a measure, a limited portion, right? In Romans chapter 12, verse 3, he put a measure, a limited portion of that faith, of that seed, that's turning back to the truthfulness of God. He's not a monster. He's your exceeding great reward, right? Okay. Just going a little bit there, okay? I shouldn't have to go real, real long on it. I already have. Okay? All right. Let's go on. Go on beyond those rudimentary things and things that are deep to you now. Later, those won't be so deep. Those won't be so hard to grasp and stuff because you'll be going from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory. Line upon line, precept, precept upon precept. I'm getting brighter in God. Yeah. Right? Going into a star. Boom. And all kinds of stars in your universe. Your thinking processes. Boom, 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 boom. God's lighting it up. You're returning to the Father. Woo! What greater reward is that? Then is there than that? There is none. That's your exceeding great reward, this self existing one, Father God. Woo! Isn't that what Jesus' name means? 2424, right? If they translate it to Jesus, I S O U S, Jesus. That's the way it pronounces it. And it means 
It says Jehovah is salvation, but you take his vows and stuff out. Don't procrastinate it. Yahweh, Yehovah, or Yehovah and Jehovah, take his vows out and stuff. Go back. Ah, oh, YHWH. It's not really, they don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just saying it's Yahweh, just to be able to pronounce it to you. Wow, there's no, nothing, no pro, it's now. It's right whenever God tells it. That's it's, it's precisely correct timing, right when, where, God, it's already. It, there, there's nothing that can overpower God. Shall anything be able to separate you from the love of God? Nope. Uh, if God be for you, who can be against you? Don't matter. I'll tell you who's against you. Your old carnal stinking thinking. Your own right-mindedness that tricks you. Good and bad. It's good and it's bad. Quit believing that sucker. Smack that dog, that alpha dog, that peon donkey. It's all this nasty crap. Shut that thing up. Take your spiritual toolbox and just, just muzzle that dog. Now, what'd you say there, Father? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, sir, I agree. I agree with that, amen. I'll sign on that contract, let's do it. All right? As you do that, optonomy, and start seeing your taste, touch, and smell. In the Spirit, he's growing. You're being baptized by the Holy Spirit. From out of that poop thinking, your own righteousness, into Christ. This water baptism is just a just a natural thing. It's just like a dipping in the water, a dunking in the water. It, it's like representative. Okay, I'm going to do it. But that's based on you doing it. It's much, much better, much. And it's a repeated baptismo the, by the Holy Spirit is the Father. The Holy Spirit's doing it. And he's baptizing you, what? In fire. So you can become on hot, on fire for God in his exact image, representation of God. Hmm. Wow. God protects you. He's burning up pure fire. Fire purifies. Transforms it. You know, it doesn't destroy that energy and that garbage thinking. Just the garbage is destroyed. No more garbage. <laughs> energy is preserved. That spirit's preserved, and it's always going in an upward manner. Speaking of going in a higher realm, higher, like authority. His nature, character, and authority. God's love is a higher love than we have, than any person has. It's a, that's just conditional. God's love is way beyond unconditional, unshakable, un, um, beyond perfect love. That's beyond this mere description of words. Blah blah blah. Hey, it don't matter. About trip over my own words trying to say it's God's just His love is awesome. It's exceedingly great. That's what he's bringing you back to little bit by little bit by little bit. Experientially, relationship builder. He's baptizing you down in that hot boiling water. And that vinegar solution that's hard to drink, hard to partake of, hard to partake of, hard to eat. <laughs> you mean I got to give up this stuff and quit thinking like that old way I always thought? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, sir. I agree. Sign on contract. Amen. May it be. When God, a little bit, chop, 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 melt, 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 skim, skim. All right. Get that relief a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Boom, he's, make, he's purifying you. Okay, I've been saying that lots. Okay, now. He's bringing you into this anima, this anoma, okay? Now, that's his, uh, it turns out his name, but it's his one's rank and authority, as it's saying here in the um, the online biblical usage. It just says a whole bunch down through here. Um, 
It's his character, the character of God. Just in short, there's a whole lot there you can study. Man, there's a lot. Okay, this anima. Okay, it's got that gnosko. He's bringing your knower, your understanding from greater glory to glory to glory, from knowing God, understanding him to this level to a higher level. Double know. And then to a higher level. And to a higher level. If you agree, agree, agree. Exist, exist, exist. Whatever state you are, you're existing in that marble thinking. It's purifying. Okay? Being purified. Okay? He's building his relationship with you. When you go out and you study things in the school and stuff, see, you might be going, what use is this going to be? Why am I going to add, when am I ever going to add two plus two? <laughs> As a little kid, right? What about five plus, what in the world is this five times five stuff? You might say it's a little bit kid, right? In the natural. When you get out there, oh man, there, there's lots of uses for that, right? When you get out there experiencing it, and you get experience in this stuff, oh, it makes things a lot easier. It lets you be able to condense more complex things down to where, pff, that's a piece of cake. I can handle that easy. So you went through the learning and the theory, and then you're experiencing it. You're going through this, the storms of life, and then you get into that eye of the needle, and you experience and have to give up that old righteousness, your old stinking thinking, and turn to God and let Him give you a little bit of increase to where you like have a higher understanding, higher understanding, like in mathematics or in English or, or whatever you're speaking, or you're doing, you're performing, whatever in the natural, but in this. It's in God's character, nature, character, and authority. His um, love beyond words, you're able to love beyond words a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more to a greater anima, like ability in this um, nature, character, and authority of God, the actual truthfulness of God. It's taking this little bit of faith, this little seed of faith that's beginning, and it's growing it in a, in a similar manner to where a, a seed germinates and sprouts through the ground and when it gets all the right nutrients, the pressures and everything of life, the fiery tiles and stuff, and it grows. It's got sunlight and turn into chlorophyll and blah, 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 all that stuff. It's teaching you. The natural stuff is teaching you about the spiritual. It's showing you a pattern. God's doing the same thing in here. Similar manner. Okay. He's bringing you back to your right mindedness. Little bit by little bit by little bit. Inside. The kingdom of God is not out here with ob outward observation. Wasn't that what Jesus was telling them? Telling them the old nasty Pharisees and stuff. Back in the. Uh, Luke chapter 17, verse about 20, 21, verses 20 and 21, maybe 22. This kingdom of God, it's not, it's not out here with this external uh, stuff. Or it's saying low over here, low over there, behold here, there, all this. No, for the kingdom of God is where? It's within you. Hmm. Claim your inheritance. Yes, sir, daddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right in the hard stuff. When the going gets tough. These negative experiences in your life. It's going tough. The tough. Turn from that old stinking thinking and go back into God. Proceed into God. But that flesh and stuff that God cut it off of you. <laughs> Chop it out. And you exist. Agree, agree, agree. Amen. Right back into Him. Get more of this anima, okay, of God. Don't fall away, do it Nicodemus style, and try to do it some other way, and rely upon your own righteousness and fall away, okay? Now, let's look at it back out here and read this and look at it. There was a man of the Pharisees, so, so uh, exclusively religious separatives that were bitter enemies of Jesus Christ 
and his cause. Don't be like that. All right? It's in your own mind. All right? It's named Nicodemus. All right, now Nicodemus, we know that's that. He's trying to do it there some other way. You have victory with the people and all this of himself, me, myself, and I. We're just a bad dude. <laughs> I don't have to do it God's way. I can do it my own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's named that. His anima is that. He's identifying with that character. With that cat. Yuck. I'd be like eating the old yuck stuff. Eating out of that hog pee and slop. <laughs> Repent. Change the way you think about that. And go back to the father's house. As the prodigal son. And he kills a fatty calf. Gives you this little bit of increase. Back into his anima. Don't stay in that other anima. The anoma. Okay. After so many years of saying anima, or anoma, uh, <laughs> anima, that sounds weird, strange to me, but that's why the Blue Letter Bible said, okay? All right, now, um, yeah, if you go on down in that anima, I'll do it, I got time. Trying to cover it a little bit deeper for you. And that's 3686, this anima. Strong's G, 3686, Anima. Okay. Anima. That's a new okay. Now, that word is coming from a derivative of 1097. That's a Kenosko. That's your, like your knower, your understanding. You're seeing, hearing, taste, touch, or smell. Is it in the dark, in the poop, in your own righteous thinking, or is it going back to God's righteous? Is it being opened up? Is God giving the increase in your ground? Ooh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, 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 right, okay, I don't have to spell that all out, I just, you know what I'm saying, if you watch the other ones, I started on going to check, be a good Berean, and went and checked this out, okay, now, it's also from this 3685, what's that word, it's O-N-O-N-I-N-E-M-I, Strong G, 3685, anini me, anini me. Uh, sounds okay. like a mini me. <laughs> My wife said it sounds like a mini me. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> okay, it actually means self. So it kind of is a mini me, a mini yuck thinking. Your old dark manure field. All right, where all those little seeds of Christ is planted in there and they got to germinate and everything, right? All right. This self and is uh, derived from pleasure or to the advantage of self. To me, myself, and I, I got to preserve my own righteousness. Man, I put into that all my life. I believed that way all my life. Blah, 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 blah. I can't change the way I think about that, God. Blah, 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 blah. No matter how much storms and pressures and fire trials is on me, I won't change. Blah, 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 blah. You're eating poop. Putting it in a hot dog bun, calling it a big hot dog. Drop a dog. It's poop. Your own filthy stinking rags. Your own righteousness. It's all dung. I count all things as dung for winning Christ. Right? It's poop. Bullshit. It's worthless and detestable. It can't get you back there. Don't do it. This Nicodemus way, trying to do it. He's a victorious. He's trying to be successful this way. No, you can't. This is the anima, the anoma of, of this cat. Of this daggone ten foot tall and bulletproof. Daggone, yeah. That's your own Goliath in here. And all these brothers. All them, <laughs> Deuteronomy 7-1. I'll teach that sometime to you. Okay? Can't do it right now, though. Okay, it's... I, I I don't want to go no little bitty taking oh, just five minutes or something. I, no. I'm going to try to break it down a little bit more for you. Whenever it does. Whenever I do do it. Okay, I might do it a little quicker, but I'm going to get more than uh, most people call it. Man, you went really deep in that. No, I didn't. I showed you a little bit. 
okay? Because it's fathomless. Well, this this is showing pictures, man. You try to describe a picture to someone that can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell. Because you're in that poop thinking. You're trying to show them this picture of God and his glory and how great he is. And try to describe that and all this stuff. You can't do that. It's going to take much more than tell me what you believe in five minutes or five seconds and that's all time I got for you. Why do you think I am? Better more than Superman? <laughs> yeah. That's stupid. Right? You can't do that. And I say, well, there, you know, I believe this, but then it's much steeper. Might be able to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, now, uh, on anemone, on I think so. <laughs> okay, now that's, uh, it's a slur, it says to slur. <laughs> it's per, a profit to be useful to yourself. Man, I don't think to keep myself, to help myself. It's to, um, to receive profit or advantage. Man, just pay me all your money and stuff. I'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's not not correct. It, it, yuck. Um. Yeah, it, uh, to gratify, you gratify yourself. Remember that word right before that? Um. Ah, shoot. Um. Yeah, this word came from. It means self. Gratify yourself. Do. No. That's not worshiping God. That's not loving God. Adoring. Seeing God for who he is. Oh, he's my exceeding great reward. He's love beyond words. He's the self-existing one that I need to exist into and give away all this. Yeah, surrender all this fleshly stuff because it's not right. Make God. Acknowledge God is the truth. And all this humanistic thinking, all this poop thinking, this anthropos stuff, this man-faced stuff, Adamic nature, is a bunch of horse shit. It's how your own human horse speaks of your own strength, your own might and power. And that shit is seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with your own ego in the way. And what's your ego doing? That If you use an acrostic, it kind of t it'll, it'll give you a good idea. It edges God out. Because it's loud and noisy inside your head. Yeah. So you can't hear that still small voice. You can't settle it down. Then you're all over the place. Dogs barking and all kinds of stuff. Like there's things in your head just going nuts. You can't hear that still small voice of God. Calmly telling you. Be reasonable, my child. Say it my way. I love you beyond words. Why are you doing all that stupid stuff? Come back to me. <laughs> you quit. Oh, quit. Lay down a big handful of hog slop. Throw it down. Here, watch this off for me, Daddy. I'm coming home to you. See, you're in hot pursuit. I'm coming home, Daddy. See, and he's coming. He's, he'll, he'll reward you. As you diligently seek him, exist with all that you got, okay? All right. <laughs> I can't, uh, I'm making this, trying to do it into something. They'll stand out. Breaking these words down so they're a little bit memorable. Okay? I'm trying to. So you can maybe see pictures of it. Now it's like, oh, wow. And then it'll cause you to want to be a good Berean. Go study it. Study the word to see. Wow, 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 wow. And get that for yourself. Go into that relationship builder again and again and again. Make that your way. That's just who I am. I am in this poop thing. Hey, yuck, I was in that poop thing. Hey, yuck, get that off of me. And it does. It starts doing it. These marbles purifying you. 
It's a long way to get to each one ignite as a star. And then there's different size stars. God does a lot. Has, doesn't stop working there. Remember? Oh, wow. He's, un, he's uniting you with him. See that end? And when you get all the way in there, is resting, relying upon God. And then the S-Y-N is in union with God. And that's in each and every one of these areas of your thinking process. How many ways can you think? Oh, a myriad, an innumerable number of ways. And it constantly increases. Okay? So, now... Let's start on the next word, but I'm going. I'm, I'm going to have to continue on it later because I'm about to run out of time. Back out here, okay. Well, that's uh, after named Nicodemus, and then there's this other one, other word that they didn't translate. Eight forty six autos. This word. Strong's G eight forty six. Autos. Autos. Okay, and it's like it's a pronoun. And it's like the me, myself, and I, you, me, okay? And it says a baffling wind. And that baffling is self. You're ba a baffling wind in your mind. Your own self, your own righteousness is just there to confuse you, to manipulate you, to, you know, try to deceive you and stuff. It messes you all up. It's not the wind of God. It's the wind of your own stuff. It's blowing the light out of your mind. Okay, that was uh, Spiritual 12, 151.